Morning Mix, we're highlighting a local nonprofit that is always giving back to others, especially in the weeks following Hurricane Helene. And we want to tell you how you can help or get involved. We spoke with Mike Garrison, the director of Compass for Hope, a nonprofit that helps people experiencing homelessness. Check it out. Mike, good morning. Thank you for joining us here today. We appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you. Good to see you again. Uh, for the people that aren't familiar with Compass for Hope, tell us how this all started. Um, back in 2018, uh, we started with very, very humble, just going down, trying to make a difference, trying to serve the homeless. We uh, started out uh, cooking food and, and, and distributing toiletries and clothing. Things have grown and grown and sort of uh, been very fluid along the way, but uh, we've gotten to the point now where we have the shower trailers and laundry trailers and of course always giving away clothing and toiletries and having other partners come along with us to be able to offer um, some shelf stable food or some mobile food if you want to say as well as uh, we've got some groups that come do medical checks uh, so that's a big blessing to be able to offer that along with haircuts uh, every other week. Now Compass for Hope works throughout the year helping people experiencing homelessness so what kind of help do you provide? Uh, our primary thing is on Sundays we go down uh, currently in the James Brown Arena parking lot uh, like I said, we give, a, give away toiletries, clothing, the chance to take a shower and toiletries, uh, or excuse me, and uh, uh, the laundry trailer. But we also, um, during the week, we, we try to help people get bicycles. We try to help people with employment. There's, uh, there's so much behind the scenes stuff. Uh, we work really closely with uh, Angela Bacos that runs the Resource Network. And so- Angela's uh, been on our show before, yes. Right, Angela is, uh, is a powerhouse. And so she uh, makes a huge difference and she's kind of my default when I need something, I know who to call because she knows how to connect the dots kind of thing. And, and, and this is the thing, you have a job. You've got a full-time job. This is something that you're doing as a labor of love, how, how you created this organization. Definitely. It was, I tell the story like I really wasn't making a difference sitting on my butt watching football and racing on Sundays, so I decided to go downtown and see what I could make a difference at. Uh, honestly, I grew up here. I didn't think Augusta had a homeless problem, but it's one of those things, once you see it, you can't unsee it. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, we again, we, we kind of thought we were filling a need by providing food. We realized that uh, there was a choice there, that there was a food, other food options. So we, we've been very fluid in what we offer just to try to make sure we were offering an authentic need and not duplicating what somebody else was offering. Now, from everything that you've done and everything you provide for the community, how has this made a difference in the people you're helping, especially after the hurricane? It's been, you know, I feel like I get more out of it than they do. Uh, oftentimes I feel like my problems are, are insignificant after I've been downtown for a few hours trying to help others. But um, prior to the hurricane, <clears throat> we were, you know, doing our normal routines, but uh, we had to pivot with the, with the bad weather and with the uncertainty of roads and volunteers and everything. So. Uh, last week we were, we, was, we were able to get back to close to normal, right. uh, but definitely went down extra days like we went down Tuesday and Friday of that week to make sure that we were distributing food to folks that otherwise may not have had access to it during that time where so much was shut down. All right, we want to mention this because we're running out of time here, but uh, you have a raffle that's going on, a big one right now with RecTech, and there's less than a week for people to get involved. Tell us quickly about that. Uh, tickets can be found at compassraffle.com. Uh, it is, we are raffling the BFG, which is the big, big grill. Uh, it's the biggest one they make. It's a, a huge value for uh, uh, the price of the ticket. Uh, there's only 1,200 tickets printed. Uh, just under half of them are still available. Mm -hmm. So we would love folks to support us that way and, and not only support us, but have the chance to win that uh, monstrous Rec Tech grill. There you go. There yeah, you go. you'll be the talk of the neighborhood if exactly. you get that one. <laughs> right. Well, if people want to donate or volunteer, where can they go for more information? Uh, they can check us out on social media. Obviously, we're on everything as Compass for Hope. We uh, have compassforhope.org. And uh, my phone number and email is almost on everything we've got out there. So um, I welcome phone calls, text, anything. I'll be happy to try to help. 
It's a great thing you do, and we really appreciate it, Mike. Thanks for joining us here today. Thank you so much for having me.